The federal government today gave a key approval to the city's rail transit project, confirming it has met all the requirements for the environmental review process. Now that clears the way for construction to begin in March on the 20-mile elevated rail system connecting East Kapolei with Ala Moana Center. Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. Opponents of the rail warn that the U.S. House, now controlled by Republicans, is in a cost-cutting mode and federal transit funds could be reduced, leaving Honolulu's rail project without enough money to get the job done. KITV4's Kiyoki Kerr joining us live now with more Kiyoki. Well, after more than 30 years and two failed attempts to build rail transit, it looks like the administration of Mayor Peter Carlisle is poised to begin work on the $5.5 billion rail project. The city hopes to break ground on rail transit in just about two months. And speaking from Washington, D.C., the mayor was elated with the Federal Transit Administration's approval. This is one of the most significant milestones for the rail project. We have taken a giant step to provide residents with a sensible alternative to our congested roads and highways. But former mayoral candidate and UH civil engineering professor Panos Prevedoros, a rail critic, asked this. My question to Peter Carlisle is, where is the money? The city's rail project will rely on more than $1 billion in federal funding. Only about $65 million of that has been delivered to Honolulu so far. But Republicans who've taken over the U.S. House have promised to slash spending, including some money for transit projects. Transit appropriations are very heavily relied upon congressional earmarks. And the overall environment at Congress is not particularly friendly right now. They are in a cost-cutting mode. Mayor Carlisle plans to meet with the new Republican head of the House Transportation Committee, John Mika of Florida, on Thursday to discuss rail. Uh, the indications that we've had uh, is that uh, Representative Mika and other members of the Transportation Committee uh, are positive about the rail project. The city's acting transportation director says all of the federal money won't come Honolulu's way for transit until what's called a full funding grant agreement is in place, probably not until late this year or early next. I don't think there's a, a single incident in history that once you hit full funding grant agreement, um, they have not fulfilled their contract to deliver the funds that uh, were negotiated. Before the federal money comes in, we shouldn't start construction. Now, the city council still must approve a special management permit for rail transit before construction can get underway. The next council vote on that is set for January 26th. Paula, back to you.